<clears throat> Hello gamers, welcome back to To Be Determined. Today we are going to be testing out all the different ways that you can spawn Tarantula Slayers. But before we get into that, please make sure that that subscribe button down below is gray. I don't want to see any red subscribe buttons, even though red is one of my favorite colors. No red, only gray. Also, be sure to hit the like button if you haven't already. Let's jump into the video. All right, so I just hit Tarantula Slayer level nine and I had to test out a bunch of different ways to do Slayers to see which one was the best for me. And there are about three different ways that you can do Spider Slayers right now that are realistic. Like, of course, you can spawn them in dungeons with like the spider room or whatever, but that's not really going to be that practical. So we are going to focus on three different ways that you can spawn them in and which one is best for your current gear. So first off, we are going to have to call Mr. Maddox real quick. We're going to see how long it takes us to do a Slayer. So we're not going to start this until we get to the location but as you can see i did hit level nine today so it's really not that big a deal but um okay it's not that big of a flex but it's a flex okay leave me alone our first location is gonna be in the spider's den over on the main spider's nest area right here there are low health spiders here like these guys have 160 health there's some down there with 170 and then all the way at the top there's some with a little bit more health i think we've got voracious ones with about a thousand around here somewhere yep right here voracious spiders with 1k health but let's see how practical it is to spawn a boss here we're gonna start right here do one tarantula tier four now we are using a juju short bow as well as a fabled reaper scythe and hot crimson armor so that's going to be about the most practical thing to use on these you can use a spirit scepter if you want to or something like that but it's going to be a lot better for you if you have a different setup now, as far as spawning in like tier threes and tier ones to tier twos, this is not going to be a bad location, but for tier fours, let's see how fast that spawn and kill was. We did get like two or three tarantula beasts there, so that really helped. That really wasn't that bad. 18 seconds to spawn and three seconds to kill. So it took us about 21 seconds to do a tier four, but that was very heavily dependent on those tarantula bee spawns. So let's do one more real quick and see how fast we can go. Now we are very contested right here. There are a lot of people around just going a little bit crazy on these, but if we don't get any bee spawns, it's gonna take us a lot longer. As you can see, we have to do 88 kills there on the right. That is a lot of kills. These guys do not give that much XP. So if we go all the way up to the top and kill some of these voracious ones up here, we're really not going to get the chance to do this that often because there will be people with frozen blaze gear up here afking but there's another tarantula beast so that speeds things up a bit but this time to kill is going to take a little bit longer we got another tarantula beast close to spawning it in now Let's drop down kill this guy this guy and third tarantula beast and here we go time to kill should have been about the same but that time to spawn was a bit longer yeah 50 seconds to spawn that one so we were a bit more contested there so that one took a little longer but that wasn't too too bad but that's going to be the main area for doing your tier ones through tier threes when you're not that strong you can do your tier threes and tier fours however over at this area right here that tarantula vermin is spawned by somebody else in front of us but we're gonna try and do a tier four in the low area down here real quick all right here we go let's see how long it takes us to spawn it we're not gonna kill that vermin because it wasn't ours but i usually like to go all the way down to this area down here although we are quite contested. But this is where I grinded out like the last 600,000 XP that I needed was at this location right here. Cause you can see the spawn and kill time is really fast and hey, we made some bank, very nice. Plus there's a little area right here where you can kind of go to chill and check everything out. So that was 19 second spawn time, three second kill time. So a little bit longer than our first attempt on the other. But let's see how our second attempt goes. If it's less than 50 seconds to spawn, it's gonna be better. But uh, I was at the point where on occasion I would get 12 second spawns depending on the beasts because you see it takes us about 27 to 22 kills to spawn the boss here so we had about 15 seconds a few times where we were getting four kills per minute so that was pretty crazy that doesn't happen too too often but right there we had a 17 second fight so that's really good this is my favorite place to grind and it's going to be the best for a lot of you guys as far as tier fours go at least mostly because 
this next method is going to need to have a Hyperion to be viable. But this is a viable method if you have a Hyperion, if you have a short bow, just as long as you have a way to kill all of these guys quickly. Even as long as you just have an AOTE, you can literally go around and just kill these guys super fast. Gauntlet of Contagion, of course, speed things up if you have a Juju as well or some kind of ranged weapon. But you see, we can just kind of go through and get 22 kills right here really, really quickly. And this isn't the only place that you can do this, but in my opinion, it is one of the fastest places. Right there was really nice, but you can get so many kills around here there's so many spawns all throughout the caves down here like literally anywhere in this cave could work but that spot that i showed you at the start that was my favorite but we are going to show off one more method that was just added with the crimson isle and that is right over here at the flaming spiders so you can use these flaming spiders that spawn over here to spawn in your tier fours but they have 2.5 million health which is quite a bit so personally this method as far as i've tested it doesn't work that well for me but if you have a hyperion it is really really nice because you can just go down here and nuke these guys and then keep going on with your day having a gauntlet of contagion here really helps out if you have multiple spiders next to each other you kill one it deals like a good 800,000 damage to the other right here you can see we dealt 1.1 million to that spider just by killing the spider next to it but it takes seven kills on these to spawn in the boss right here now again if you get beast spawns or something that will speed it up quite a bit but you have to get kind of lucky with those but that took me 31 seconds to spawn three seconds to kill let's try it again see how we do on attempt number two now i am using a wolf pet by the way a max level wolf pet so these spawn times might be a little bit different depending on what pet you use to spawn them in. Like if you use a legendary tarantula pet, that works just as well. You can get up to 30% boosts on those as well. But here we go, got the boss spawned and down. Let's call it in, see how fast that was. 23 seconds, that's not too bad. And of course, it's gonna be faster to do this with auto slayer. I'm not doing it with auto slayers just so we can see the spawn and kill times separately. But yeah, these guys are not a bad way to get your experience up. As well, you can still use a juju on them and that is decently fast. I know a lot of people have been using full terror to spawn in their bosses. My terror set's not that good and it's faster for me to do it with crimson in gear but if you have a hyperion and storm set then this should be the fastest way you can literally just run through nuke these guys come over here nuke this guy nuke these guys and your boss is spawned and you kill it really quickly because you can also nuke the boss then you come over here nuke these guys nuke these guys there's a bit more taxing on your mana so how much mana you have will be really important but as long as you've got like a good accessory reforge and good stats on your enchanting and alchemy skills i think you'll be all right but you can see it only takes seven kills on these guys to spawn in a boss so if you can kill those guys instantly with a hyperion then you're kind of chilling but if you don't have a hyperion but you're still killing tier fours then the second area down in the spider's den is going to be the best way for you to spawn in these guys all right guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please remember to leave a like if you haven't already make sure that subscribe button is gray and i'll see you guys in the next video god bless